To lay plastic mulch flat on the ground, Dubois Egg Renovation presents the Rainflow 345 mulch layer. The Rainflow 345 can lay rolls of mulch from 3 to 5 feet wide or from 90 centimeters to 1.5 meters. This equipment has a leveling blade at the front to smooth out the surface, followed by a press plate that firms the soil and on which you can add weight and furrow openers at the front to dig trenches. A roller to lay the mulch on the ground, press wheels that will keep the mulch at the bottom of the furrow until the cover discs bury its edges and set firmly in the ground. The plastic mulch roll is supported by two metal rollers. The Rainflow 345 is equipped with a system that allows you to unfurl and position the drip tape under the mulch while it is being laid. Remember that good soil preparation is essential to successfully lay the mulch. The soil needs to be worked to a depth of 4 inches or 10 centimeters. Before starting, the layer is centered and leveled both from left to right as well as from front to back. It is important that the tractor's three-point hitch be equipped with a good stabilizer bar. Start by setting the angle of attack of the furrow openers to about 45 degrees. Then adjust the distance between the points of the front furrow openers based on the width of mulch that will be visible on the ground. Since a strip of plastic at least 6 inches or 15 centimeters wide will be buried on each side, the distance between the furrow openers will correspond to the width of the roll minus at least 12 inches or 30 centimeters for a 48 inch or 1.22 meter wide roll. The maximum spacing between the furrow openers will be 36 inches or 92 centimeters. And finally, adjust the working depth in, a so in the soil to about 3 inches or 8 centimeters. Do a first test by rolling a few meters without laying any mulch to check the firmness of the soil and the quality of the furrow. If the soil is too soft, water will quickly seep deep into the soil and crop growth will suffer. As needed, add weight to the equipment to correct the situation. Walking on the soil behind the machine should only leave a faint footprint. The furrow should be clean and wide enough for the press wheels to fit in. The distance between furrows should correspond to the width of the mulch that will be visible above ground once it is laid. And the depth must be 3 inches or 8 centimeters. Put the press wheels in the furrow leaving the thickness of a hand between the wheel and the edge. Also measure how deep the drip tape is buried. It should be covered by a half inch or one to two centimeter layer of soil to keep it from moving. Then make a rough alignment of the cover discs at the back since their final adjustment will be done after the trial run laying mulch at normal operating speed of three miles an hour or five kilometers an hour. You are now ready for a first attempt at laying mulch. Raise the equipment and back up a little. Thread the mulch under the roller and then while lowering the equipment on the ground, place the press wheels on the edges. Bury the end of the mulch and tie the drip tape. The operator needs to move long enough to reach the laying speed of 3 miles an hour or 5 kilometers per hour. Check the results and make the adjustments needed to get the following results. The edge needs to be well buried and the 
plastic mulch needs to be properly stretched. With one exception, Biotello biodegradable mulch must not be stretched. It will shrink and stick to the soil a few hours after laying. The mulch layer is also equipped with markers to give you a more uniform spacing between strips of mulch.